And then I looked into your eyes and all that I could see was a bunch of posters. <laughs> Hi there, everybody. It's your old pal Ribsy back again with another episode of Four Poster Nerds, and I'm just casually making a poster here. But anyway, look at all this. I'm surrounded by just, just stuff, just stuff, not very good stuff, like rubbish stuff, like this weird... 1998 timetable from extra store bear blue actually that's that's quite cool but most of this stuff it's rubbish it's rubbish i wish there was some place that was just full of lovely stuff like really good stuff and it turns out there is it's called colors may vary and that's where we're going right now cue the annoying theme tune Hi everyone, we're uh, we're back with another episode of uh, Four Poison. It's only because we're very, because we're very. Look at this, look at all this nice stuff. Ooh. Nice stuff everywhere. Nice stuff behind me, nice stuff in front of me. I'm in the corn exchange, which is a bit tense, really, yeah. given my my history with it. But you know, here we are, the things I do for this channel. Mm. But more importantly, I'm yeah. here with Andy. Hi. Andy, why have I got you on here? Why are you poster adjacent? Um, well, for... Ten years I've been, well, co-running the shop with Becky, and we love commercial art, and it's kind of like a swear when we say commercial art, but we like graphic design, typography, um, illustration, and that's kind of what got us into wanting to have a shop. We were both worked in record shops, we both like pop culture, we both love ephemera, and part of loving ephemera is loving posters. Loving so, posters. And we had them on our walls, there's pictures of me with loads of ugly posters on ugly wallpaper, plastering, well, trying to cover ugly wallpaper, I think. Um, and since we run the shop, we had, a, we had a gallery space, and we used to work with artists in group shows. We used to commission, and we still do, we commission prints um, and posters. <laughs> hence, 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 your posters. Exactly. Um, and so we've had a, we've learned as we went, I've gone along, dealing with artists, working with artists, putting on group shows which we loved um, and it's a big part of what we did we loved yeah. it and you know, the books we stock largely are about that world you know the world of graphic design typography poster design book cover design all that kind of stuff so um, it's an honour to be here for those, for those reasons <laughs> I, I, to clarify I don't make posters because um, if I did nobody would buy them <laughs> um, but I do love them no, they're everywhere. They're all over the walls here. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is this is a poster-heavy environment. But it is. And I mean, I like what you mentioned about commercial art because mm. my definition of a poster, and it's very different from other definitions of a poster, but it's it's art that's got a job. Yeah. It's art that that has something to do, be that exactly. to sell you something or to say, don't put your finger yeah. in this socket. Exactly. You know, it's that sort mm. of thing. So it's yeah, it's got a purpose. Watch this film. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Come hither, give me your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish more people would do that, but you know. Mm. I think, you know, posters in the urban environment make the urban environment a better place. Yeah. Largely. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I, I think I've said it before, but you know, I see advertising as a necessary evil. Mm. But if it's good. Yeah, you'd rather have good advertising. Ooh, yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. It's like you see the state of car ads. Oh, do you know what? I was talking to Becky about this. There's a car ad, and it's because I'm watching streaming. It's the same car ad between yeah, the yeah, yeah, and the yeah. And I think it's Honda, but I don't know. I'm not going to badmouth Honda, but I think it's Honda. <laughs> and it said, who said electricity when unplugged couldn't be exciting? Right? Well, that was me. I said that. <laughs> and me and Becky just looked at each other and went, no one said that. It was such a terrible bit of coffee. Um, but yeah, a car ad's diabolical. Yeah. They used to be good. They used to be used good. To, I've got a book of Volkswagen ads at home. Oh, yeah, okay. they, they're, they're the pinnacle, the, oh. the absolute pinnacle. Especially the 60s ones, yeah. stuff like that. They just make you laugh. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they were really, really clever. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Good, good stuff. stuff. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, the other thing I wanted to ask you mm. is when I bundled into your store and basically bullied you into doing yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, I was bullied. Yeah. <laughs> How did you feel when you were like, oh my god, I've got to pick four posters? 
horrible really yeah I thought you uh, might I thought you might so many things fr- I mean even if you weren't in a world where you're of commissioning posters or work with artists for 10 years because um, we're doing about 10 shows a year as well so yeah. it's a lot of shows um, even if that wasn't the case I'd still struggle um, because well one right first thing I had to do to sort of scrunch this down into a barely manageable ball was say what do I think a poster is and commercial art comes into this yes. I like posters as ephemeral objects um, creased because you've taken them down and put them up several times yeah. when you've moved student house um, they've got those gluey little marks in the corners where the blue tacks come through or even a hard bit of blue tack yeah, yeah. that has solidified yeah, you can't years. take that off you'll rip it no, no, it's, <laughs> rip it. it's now part yeah. of the part of the piece itself yeah yeah posted up on yeah. walls rippled yeah quite like that and yeah. then oh, I think poster is a good word because it's a verb as well you yes see? So you're postering over walls, yeah. and then that kind of um, what's the word for that? When you've got the oh, no, a sh- a shibboleth L- lamination. Yeah, yeah. When you've got that and things rip, so you can see the stuff underneath and yeah, all that. Yeah. I, think, oh, I love that. I like a bit of sticker archaeology. Mm. Mm. Like uh, when you come down Woodhouse Lane, there's one particular sign where like it's just been done over the years, and you can yeah. see bits poking out yeah. and whatnot. Like. I mm. absolutely love that. Me too. And one of the posters I'll talk about, which I'll talk about the last, the last knockings, um, the person who, who was responsible for them, he, he's a very well-known photographer, but he just wanted posters that would fall apart and wouldn't be there in a year's time. Yeah. And we helped him do that. Yeah. They're not here now. They're not. <laughs> They've done their job. They've done their job. They, they did do their job. They died not in vain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Soldiers. Right. Yeah, glory. Yeah, 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 glory yeah. In, in death. <laughs> Okay, so what, 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 we, what we start with? What's our first poster? Okay, the, f- the first poster, we haven't got handouts because... Because I forgot to print them. Jack <laughs> didn't think me worthy. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a poster of Stephen Patrick Morrissey um, leaning forward, gazing to one side of the camera and in the top right-hand corner, the Smiths. A great band, one of the best bands. Um, I chose it because... Not just because it's him, we'll get back to him. Not in a massive way. But it's because that kind of poster, when I was in my late teens, mid to late teens, those posters were everywhere. Yeah. You know, and I've, I've, I've called it here the icon poster. They are often bought from the high street, often Athena, Athena and poster shops. So for the younger viewers who might not know what Athena is, yeah. like, like explain Athena. Athena was a poster shop, it wasn't a print shop. No. It is now an art print website. So oh, moved. I didn't realise that. Oh, yeah. Still the same. Yeah, yeah. They've moved on, sadly. <laughs> um, so I think they. I think. I look this up. I think because <laughs> this is just knowledge in my head. They were founded in the sixties. <laughs> they had their heyday in the eighties. Yeah. And by the mid nineties, were starting to fall over. Yeah. And a few stayed. And when I first came to Leeds in two thousand and two, um, the home where the Trinity is now. There used to be a little arcade. Yeah. And there used to be a Merry Old England cafe and an Athena poster shop. And they would be racks of posters. You'd just go through like that. And there'd be Murillo cartoons with guys playing tennis on skyscraper roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bum scratcher. Bum scratcher. Famous. Bum scratcher. They sold that dress for thousands of pounds. Yeah. Um, such is the, the beauty of that poster. <laughs> um, all sorts of things. But in amongst them, you'd get your David Sylvians, your David Bowie, yeah. your Morrissey. Um, Ian Curtis smoking a fag, looking, I know. Um, and they were all over the place. And when I was, when I finished my, I did a foundation course in Arnold. When I finished that, I didn't go to uni, we were talking about this earlier. Yeah, yeah. But I did go and troll around my friends' houses all over the country. And I've got loads of photographs of us in these rooms. And there's Bowie playing the cello. Yeah. You know, Curtis on a the fag. There'll be James Dean very popular James Dean at that yeah. point in time uh, Louise Brooks weirdly mostly male though yeah it's the it's, it's posters for maybe for the male gaze or the male yeah. you know um, black and white almost definitely there's not much colour going on you know they're very tastefully done and, and they follow students around so I've got I can see in my photographs a Morrissey poster in oh that was in Willis Street in York yeah. 
and this one's in now another street in York, and it's follow people around. And I like that about posters. Yeah. Um, the Morrissey and the Smiths, because this was the photo I found was 1990. The Smiths were gone by then, and I stopped. It's 87, so I stopped crying by then. Okay, I stopped. <laughs> I stopped. I just got the anxiety gone. You know, it didn't come back to the pandemic. It was fine. Um, Stephen Patrick Morrissey, um, for a, a, a swathe of teenagers at the time, introduced them to vegetarianism. Yeah. Not veganism. So you die. You die in the eighties <laughs> yeah. of, of veganism. <laughs> it just wasn't anything to eat. You know, just fruit from the floor. Um, he told us to be gentle and kind. You know, he eschewed the posturings of the, of the male rock star by yeah. having gladiola in his pocket, wearing a blouse and flouncing around on stage. It is very much to flounce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much. That's the verb that I associate with Morrison and the Smiths. Beautiful flouncing. Yeah. And he wore specs he didn't need. You know, just heavy national health specs. And he had a lovely pompadour, pompadour haircut that was the was envy of everyone. Yeah. You know? And we thought, well, he's a nice guy. It's, um, there's no way... <laughs> There's no way what could go wrong here. He's not going to let us down. Um, and this is nothing but posters. They're like a deep freeze on us. So when yeah. you see Morrissey, I think it's very telling on this poster because it says the Smiths in the corner, but it's just Morrissey. Um, because who else do you need? You're not going to have a... a oh, I'm just going to say Andy Rourke. Andy Rourke died this week. Yeah, yeah, people watching this in five years' time. Um, which is very sad. But no one's buying a Mike Joyce poster <laughs> with the Smiths no. in the corner, are they? No. Sort no. of Lance Club, maybe. But uh, Morrissey leans in, and uh, yeah, I always thought, what a beautiful young man is um, he's leading the way. Yeah. Um, this phone is on top of a book called Goodbye to Morrissey, which came out a couple of years ago. And it is a very long essay on, well, it's about placing trust in people and having that trusted trade as Morrissey moves <laughs> to the radical right. <laughs> 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 and, and I, I mean, the thing is, is that. You know, Smith Smith's fans are, are, are quite a unique breed because yeah. it, oh, yeah. you know, it, it burns down to their souls. Like I, I'm not a Smiths fan, but my wife is a massive Smiths fan, yeah. and it, you know, you, you you people carry it. Oh yeah, you carry it's a it. Yeah, don't you? You know, it's not. This is not. This is not a casual thing. Yeah. You know. I like the cramps, but you don't see me like. No, there's like, nothing stiletto in the BBC. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not like, sitting here with a jackknife, you know, about to <laughs> shank you or anything. <laughs> but 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 it's different with Smiths fans, and to have yeah, 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 yeah. that that journey yeah. that Morrissey has been yeah, on, it's, it's it's incredible, really, because it is a matter of trust, and and I think we we embraced it to such a degree yeah. at that time, and it. And it was a band that came on, it seemed on top of the pops, it was a weird alien experience, like yeah. Bowie for the generation before. It's like, this man wasn't a hearing aid. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And he's singing all these songs about poets. You know, he's singing about poets on top of the pops and tattooed boys from Birkenhead and stuff like that. Brilliant wordsmith. I was reading, I just, there's a brilliant bit in there, Morrissey, and it's uh, Dylan Jones says to him, um, I think you even got tan. And he said, the tan didn't make it back then. I had to hand it in at custom. So it's that kind of drollness yeah. that he thought fell for as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you look back, Bengalian platforms, reggae is vile. The signs were there. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, but I still love the Smiths. It's that kind of, just, can you pull the artist and the art apart? Yeah, yeah. You know? And I think the Smiths were a band, and Andy and Mike and Johnny, Yeah. Um, they were all part of it. And he wouldn't exist without them. Yeah. Um, and I still, I still, have, I still sing Morrissey songs in the shower, respectfully. So, you know, um, the last of the famous international playboys would spill from me, and then I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I feel bad for the rest of the band as well. I mean, mm. I, I, I really like John Mark. I've got a lot of time for him as a guitarist. He's, yeah, he's incredible. Seems like a nice bloke. Seems like a nice bloke. Yeah, um, he's he's blazed the trail yeah. for an awful lot of things. Mm. Um, he wrote a piece in the Guardian years ago about playing guitar. And it's the one thing I've read about the guitar. I was like, you, you've got it. Yeah. You know, this is why I play guitar. This is this is why everyone I know plays guitar. And yeah, he's totally on the right page. But yeah, Morrissey is difficult. No, well, difficult. At one point, it was called Truculent by a judge, and everyone had to look it up. What that meant, and then I think it was just then, you know, a, a Union flag. Yeah. At, at, at uh, Madstock supporting Madness, and. Uh, <laughs> 
and then the press disowned him. And we should have all disowned him. It's about you just think, no, they've got him wrong. Yeah. They've got him wrong. Yeah. He, he knows what he's back. He's, 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 he'll come he's back. misunderstood. A poor young man, sensitive flower. But he, he, he hasn't come back. No. And he played re- Leeds recently, and all the posters went up. <laughs> and within about a couple of hours, they were all defaced. <laughs> like, like, I mean, very efficient. Yeah, yeah. Very efficient. I, I Although that. those posters are in Haribo, nothing happened to them at all. Did they not? No, nothing. Did they not? I think they're buffed up. <laughs> um, I'll tell you one thing, other thing about him. He's really good on the icon posters, Morrissey, because he loves icons. Yeah. You know, his, the, the record sleeves. You know, apart from your youth and joy, are men, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actors, Hollywood elite and stuff like that, looking out at the camera, the gaze. And, and so I think he's really good as an icon poster. I think when he, I think everyone got that. He, he was a, he was a combination of his own influences in a way. Loved the three quarter angle, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Was, he was always at three quarters. Oh, great silhouette. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 A very good friend of mine. Um, Every time he goes to the barbers, he asks for a Morrissey haircut, and every time they get it so wrong. And he's he's done this for years, yeah. and he's never happy. But he will never say anything. There's another purse, famous person. Maybe it's um, Neil Morrissey. That gives it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should put this to the test. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're not specified, that's another thing about Morrissey. He's just Morrissey. He's like the it's motto. It's yeah. brand. Yeah, it's a brand. Yeah. Anyway, let's leave him. Goodbye tomorrow, Steve. Let's Morrissey. wave goodbye tomorrow. Bye, Morrissey. Well, probably just wave like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <it's> over. <laughs> oh, bless. Well, yeah, that's that's Morrissey. I mean, yeah. I mean, this poster's a love, though, isn't it? And I mean, that's yeah. that's that's the thing. I love those posters. They they remind me of a time, and they remind me of mates and houses. Can you still still feel the clack of an Athena? Poster, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, you, you don't <coughs> see them at all in those kind of perpendic- horizontal, perpendicular sort of clack, big sort of 50 by 70 prints, yeah, or yeah. bigger, you yeah. know, and you go through and all sorts of stuff would be waiting. You never know what. It might just be a picture of a motorcycle. Yeah. Or it might be Prince. Remember, remember Prince, Purple Hands? Yeah, yeah, big motorcycle. Purple, like, purple Rain. Purple <laughs> rain. <laughs> I know so much about that. <laughs> um, purple Rain, yeah. So it, it was all sorts. and. It, they were affordable, I think. Yeah, no, they're Because so, they're, they're always pretty, they're like really thin. Well, that's part well. of it. Yeah. And I think, you know, um, there's no nod to quality of production and material. Yeah, yeah. With a print, you know, it's like one of 30. It's signed by the artist. <laughs> it's a 320 GSM, bit of colour plan on this colour, you know. And, and I think that's great. But it's very different from Athena posters. Yeah. Yeah. Jobs. They've got jobs. They've got bloody jobs to do. Yeah, exactly. But what was Morrissey doing? What what was his job? Just to just to keep me fixated. That's what his job was. For a while, he did. He managed it. Well, that's Paul Morrissey. We hardly knew him. So where are we going next? Where where, where we? What what what's the one? I think I think going from Morrissey to Idiot Fringes 2019 poster pre the general election. I can't remember who won. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those guys. Adam Smith is Idiot Fringe, and he's a, a friend of mine, and he's a, I'm going to say, a prankster. I don't know if you like that thing, but he's got prankster in him. He always wants to get stuff out there. Devilment. Devilment, yeah, Devilment. yeah. He's a mischief maker, he's an elf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he's also really good. He's a good graphic designer, and he's very visual. He's a visual thinker, and this poster which, I mean, all it says is stop the Tory cuts, yeah. right? Which is, I think it's fair because there's been a lot of them. You, you know. can't argue with that yeah. sentiment. You can't argue. Um, but I think the joy of it is it, especially if you're walking past and you're a Tory, is you can't help the letter. It could be cults, I suppose. Um, make as much sense, because I'm sure most of them are in them. Um, but it just makes it drops the word into your brain. There's no profanity on the poster. It's a very pregnant pause, isn't it? It is. A very pregnant pause. But also, it makes sense both ways because it's saying stop the Tory cuts, and I think that's a you know. Yeah. But it also says the other thing. Yeah. You know, and I and I think that kind of thing's really clever. It kind of reminds me sometimes of like the Economist did really good adverts. Yeah. You know. 
well written and read. So they were always read. It'd just yeah. be R E D. Or it would say, Oh was it um Trump Donald was one of theirs. Yeah. And it's just so simple, just yeah. like, switch the old switcheroo, you know. And Adam's stuff is it has a punning visual quality to a lot of his stuff. But most of it is like, oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's clever. And you know, I remember people in sure it was in the nineties, because I had a few inspiral carpets. Quite I quite like them. Yeah. I think they're underrated. Yeah, I, they, I think they, they missed the, the boat a bit. Yeah, yeah. They're nothing like Manchester. They're a bit fast for a year. Yeah. Like they're, 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 they seem more fun. Yeah, they, I think they were fun. Bob Hair. Stuff like that. But I think um, there was there was an expletive t shirt. What did it say? Oh, I can't remember. I wish I'd done my research. But I, I'm sure people were. Picked up by the police in the streets for a yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's it turned of, out. Yeah, that actually, it wasn't. It bad. wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Got you. Just police are easily offended. <laughs> um, but this one, I, we had it up in our window, and I'm sure that you know, or <laughs> there, um, we had a window display before. It was December 2019, and we were all hoping because it couldn't happen again, um, not after Brexit and, and all the. All the bollocking that gone on then, which now yeah, looks yeah. perfectly rational. It looks, yeah. like it, it looks like good stuff is happening now because of the stuff that's happened since. But no, obviously, you know, sad to say, the tour has got in. But it'll never happen again. Never happen again. <laughs> Surely not. But we put those up in our window, and generally the response was really good. Um, Adam gave us loads of collateral, we gave us loads of badges and posters to give away, and they all went very quickly. Yeah. People came in the shop, just took them, put them in their windows. Um, and I love it. I love it for the fact it's rude, but it isn't. Yeah. It's got the worst swear word in it, not in it. Yeah. But it kind of makes you feel like it is. And I, I'm going to level with you here because I, I usually don't like typographical posters. No. And there, there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, one is I'm not very designy. Like, I, I, I am, like, I'm a blagger. I'm a blagger and I'm just like, ah, <laughs> let's get all this stuff on there. I, I loathe text management. Yeah. Like, I, 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 oh, oh, I just, it just doesn't work with me. And like, it's horrible phrase. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Like, you've got to corral this text. And that's how I see it. I see it as this, like, real chore. Like, yeah, yeah. oh, my God. That's always the last thing I do. And it's always really slapdash. It's like, oh, oh, God, just stick that on there. So I'm always like, when I see big typographical works, like, yeah. part of me is like, yeah, all right. I realise that is harder than it looks. But then another part of me is like, but you just made a big word document. That's all you've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This though, I like. I like because because it is like the, the, there's something clever going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. It's a double take. It is. You know, it's that sort of thing. And also, as I say, because it works on both both the messages. Yeah. Strong. I'm going to say strong. I'm not going to say right because I don't know who's watching this. But all oh, I'm right. It's certainly right. It's certainly right. Large R. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really love this stuff. Um, he continues to make. He's like you. He would churn out product, merch. Yeah, yeah. He made a great Boris plate. Yeah. Like a commemorative Boris plate, mugs, hats, all sorts of things. I've got a, a great T-shirt. Um, it's about Brexit, and it's the. Do you know the band Noi? German yes, band. yes, yes. It just kept the type fast to the end off, just said EU. Ah. And uh, it was kind of, it's like your, your, your German calls Misch, and it's German. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it's that kind of thing. He's always making these kind of like links that are there, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I love that. No, and I have a deep respect for that. Yeah. Particularly if people can pull it off in a designing way, because I'm always very jealous yeah. of the designing people yeah. who can do that. I'm just not wired that way, so. When I asked Adam if I could use it, I said, can I use this poster of this thing? He went, oh, I've got the type saying shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and like, the people like that do get like that. Because they're, they're the people who, whenever I say, oh yeah, I'll put this font on there, and they're yeah. like, it's not a font, it's a type thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, yeah, you've got to watch what you're saying. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah no, they, they, they don't like that at no. all, do they? My dad was a print man. Was he? Yeah, was on the side. And he worked for Heidelberg UK. Oh. In, in London on phototype set, which was a kind of weird intermediary between print and digital. Yeah. And, and before that, he was um, newspapers, printing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I grew up with loads of lectures around the house, yeah. type books everywhere. And uh, every now and again, I'd go to, he worked, he worked at Finchley in London, and I'd sit there, I was quite young, and then you'd watch a composer. This is Colin, the composer, doing this stuff backwards and yeah. you know, all that yeah. kind of stuff. And you just go, oh, what, what is this witchcraft? Yeah. In fact, I find anything 
to do with letters quite bewitching so I, like, I've got terrible handwriting like really really bad handwriting and the thing I love is like when you see videos online of people doing like you know when oh, they do yeah. the, the streets when like they 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 they, they, yeah, they yeah. write on the road with the with the big thing and, oh I love those yeah, oh yeah. my god it, it, it's just mesmerising I'm like how do you do that I cannot I can't draw an S no, you <laughs> can't see what they do no they're so, so close to it yeah no, hats off to them. I like people, you know, Rob Draper as well, on, yeah. you know, just doing beautiful, you know, like, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no way on earth I'd ever be able to do that. I can't, I've to master my own name, <laughs> signature, you know. Yeah. My brother's got beautiful handwriting, it? and it is. It's a goal, you. Yeah, it really sticks in my Yeah, he is. Yeah, well, maybe you'll catch up. No, I won't. <laughs> I'm telling you now, I won't. I am absolutely doomed on that front. Whenever he sends me a birthday card, I'm just like, oh my god, look at that! Mm. Look how they're they're all the same size. Yeah. Well, mine just looks like a drunk spider. It's just. Oh. I think that's personality, isn't it? It cracks into yours. He's raiding himself in all the time, your brother. <laughs> deeply, deeply repressed. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm onto you, Tom Hurley. Now yeah. I know. Now I know. So we moved from Morrissey to Tories. To Tories. Seems like a weird, difficult transition. Where are we off to now? Where, Where are we off to now, Andy? We are going to um, a film, The Hills Have Eyes, Wes Craven's original from 1977. Now this this is <laughs> it's a brilliant poster. I'm not going to say it isn't. I mean, it's got really punchy type. It's got orange sky. A guy who looks like what's the, in the Goonies? What's the name of the guy? Chunk, Chunk's dad, yeah, yeah, to the yeah, floor, yeah, yeah, yeah. wearing what looks like I don't know. Yeah, like I'm trying to work this out. The slaying game. the destroyer. Um, so yeah, it's a great poster, but um, I, I'm really scared of horror films. <laughs> I I am with you on this. Like I I do not like horror as a genre, which is difficult because like nearly every guest has mm. picked a horror film poster as yeah. one of their likes. So I'm yeah, glad yeah. that you're going for a dislike. Yeah, yeah. I'm going for a dislike because this poster doesn't work because this poster makes me not want to see that. <laughs> so that poster, the poster is going, ah, come here, little boy. In fact, one of the um, lines, oh, I wish I'd written it down. And it, said, it was like, oh, pretend that you're dreaming it or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. Well, no, this is about cannibals, right? <laughs> That's a big no for me. It's about torture. I'm not like, no, no. no for me. No. All those kind of things. Like leather face, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Grew up in the age of the, the video nasty. Yeah. I like spit on your grave, phantasm, um, all that kind of body horror, yeah. cr- early Cronenberg. Yeah. I can't go near it. I can't go near it. Um, it's a great poster. Um, but I remember it. It's 1977, I was eight, which is probably why I made an impression. I was massively into into Star Wars. My mum had taken me to see Greece. Um, so I thought, yeah, the film's great, aren't they? Um, and then I remember seeing this poster, I don't know, it might have been outside the cinema. Um, just thinking, good grief. <laughs> and then I think it says, they didn't want to kill, but they didn't want to die. A nice American family. They didn't want to kill, but yeah. they die. Yes. And uh, like, I agree with you that this is a really good poster. Like, because it is. And it ticks so many boxes for me, because like, I I love a kind of slightly janky Photoshop smushing of yeah. various elements that shouldn't necessarily be together. Like these cliffs in the background. Yeah. There's very much sort of, ah, just stick that back yeah. in there and it'll look all right. I love the way he looms. I love the way he's got the scary lighting. He looms. Oh, he is looming. <laughs> <laughs> he is. And look at, look at that. I'm going to say font. Just to wind up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That, is a, that is a solid... Oh. There's some people out there. Look at the look at the kerning between the H I and O. Look at the kerning. <laughs> it doesn't work, but it's great. It's punchy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, you can't unread that. That's the hills have eyes. Yeah. Why have they got eyes? Why? <laughs> Why? What are these hills? <laughs> and the orange sky. The orange sky is actually going. And yeah. I just love it in the corner. In the corner. All oh, this little oh, innocent family. family. Oh, we're going to have a nice holiday. They've got no <laughs> idea what they're letting <laughs> themselves in for. And when I read about it recently, so I was doing this, I thought I'd read about the film. And and everyone says, it doesn't really stand up. Yeah, it's not yeah, that bloodthirsty. Yeah. Nothing really happens. I don't care. I'm not watching it. No. Um, no. Great thing I found out about this as well. Um, so, in this film, there's a... T- in a scene. I haven't seen the scene because I haven't seen the film. <laughs> um, there's a torn Jaws poster. 
Okay. With, so Wes Craven's going, that's just pop horror. This is, this is real horror, right? Sam Raimi watches it, right? Evil Dead. And then puts a torn The Hills Have Eyes <laughs> on to say to <laughs> him, no, no, this is real horror. Um, and then Wes Craven does Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. And he has the girl falling to sleep watching The Hills Have Eyes. Oh. <laughs> and it keeps going on. Yeah, so yeah. In, the, in the next one, they use a Freddy hand in Evil Dead 2 somewhere on the set. So nice. Raimi and Craven are just going at it. Yeah, yeah, just trolling away at each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Before you could troll, you know, in, in the way we know about trolling. Um, but I don't know what more to say about it, really. Oh. Um, but it's a, great, it's a great poster to have as your worst poster. Um, and it, but it doesn't work. I'm not going to see that. I um, know, and neither will I. Because, I mean, like, Jaws is my horror limit. Yeah. An alien, which is Jaws in space. Yeah, I, can, I don't know why I can watch Alien. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Although, like, I played, like, I hate scary games. I really hate scary games. Oh, do you know, I used to play Quake. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember Quake? Yeah, yeah. I used to play with Ryan upstairs at work in the summer when we were not busy. Oh, what's around this corner? I can't, <laughs> I, I, I can't do it. I started playing Alien Isolation. Yeah. And I was like, this 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 game is everything I've ever wanted. Because mm. I, lo- I love I love the first two Alien films. I think I think they're an absolute pinnacle. I think they're so well done. Yeah. And I was like, they they got this bang on. Mm. Everything looks brilliant. And for this reason, I cannot play it. I literally got twenty minutes in. Nothing happened to me. Like I didn't see an Alien yeah, or yeah. anything like that. I was just like, no, yeah. this, this this is too, this is too scary. Mm. It's been sitting on my computer desktop for like seven years now yeah. just like one, one day I'll talk up the courage <laughs> you're a braver man than me I know, I'm never going down there I think with Alien as well it's in space I think that these things don't exist yeah, you exactly. know it's a bit acid that yeah. man is probably in the hills exactly but the thing they got right with Alien mm. the thing they got right with Alien is like there was no backstory and all the other aliens after aliens yeah like, you knew it went wrong where they're like oh no this, this alien can email or like you know, this alien yeah. comes from like a far off boutique and it's like yeah. it's just like no no they're just, they're just, all they need to be are space twats yeah yeah you don't even know why they're there no, no, no. they're just there to be angry space wasps we're to talking about wasps space yeah. wasps that's, that's exactly what they are, what they are. <laughs> yeah running away from it yeah. <laughs> yeah they're just they're just really belligerent nasty yeah. creatures I need to tell this that's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Oh, yeah. It's such a taught script. In oh, it's not, not a bad line in that. Becky knows I like it because it's like Ferris Bueller's Day Off for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The quotes just come. Oh, I, I, I think I'd probably do the film end to end for you. Like, <laughs> right here. Yeah. Alien 3 is not bad. It's got the Techie Team man in it. it. And that's really where it. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, I agree. The Prometheus in. Oh, this is God. turning into a film oh. tube. Is on the tube. Sod that. Sod that. Gives a, gives another poster. <laughs> oh right. Hang on. This is the thing about not having your posters here. I know. And having to turn. I'm really sorry, mate. <laughs> um, okay. So poster number four. Posters number four. Yeah. Posters. Collective. Twenty of them. Yeah. Um, Peter Mitchell. God, I'll show you. But behind us, we got. Pete Mitchell books and postcards and prints. Peter is a Leeds resident. He's in his, I think he's 80. He's been photographing Leeds, especially in the, the late 70s, 80s. He took loads of pictures of Leeds. He was a van driver who, text coming through. He was a van driver who um, had a set of ladders when he saw something he liked or more, more appropriately thought was, wouldn't be there yeah. in the future. He captured it, and he captured it beautifully. He had a, a big sort of um, large format, wasn't he? A large format Heidelberg camera. Um, I'm not saying Heidelberg, am I? That's my dad's printing press. Oh, Hasselblad. Hasselblad. Hasselblad camera. Um, and he took these photos, and he had the first colour photo sort of art exhibition in the UK in 1979, oh. and that was in York. We got to know Peter through the shop. He's a lovely bloke. He's, it's just joyful bloke. Yeah. It's really fun, anecdotal. You can tell your stories until your ears bleed. All funny stuff about Leeds. And he's into this period of like late 70s, 80s, and he's getting the notice that he's always deserved. Uh, he's, having a, he's having a show, um, hopefully, Leeds next year. Big, big show. He's had a show in 
the Parry photo, he's had Arles, he's had all these big shows. But he's like, he says to me, I don't know, I'm, 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 I'm almost too old to enjoy it. Yeah, you know, all this, all this stuff. But he says it for the week. You know, I think he is enjoying it. Anyway, um, come lockdown. I remember lockdown. Yeah. I remember lockdown. And there was a man called Tom Buxton, and he runs uh, a company called FYI. And they put the posters up in these, the big drum posters. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all that. Yeah. And he contacted us and said, got any ideas? Because no one's buying advertising space because yeah. there's no one on the streets. And we did have a, well, I'm going to say we, and Becky's going to be like, what? <laughs> Becky had an idea. And she said, we had a plan to do an exhibition and a book signing. It never came to fruition because of lockdown. And she said, we could put these images out on the streets with Tom's help. Yeah. Now, Tom had worked with Laura Wellington, who uh, runs Duke Studios with Jones. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she put posters out in the name of In Good Company. They were the ones supporting the health workers. Yes, yeah, I remember and that. And just general good vibes posters to sort of say, we love you and all that kind of... And some of them were really nice posters, working really good illustrators. And so that, going back to Becky having the idea, sorry, Laura, probably you <laughs> um, Laura had this idea, and then we thought we could do an exhibition in the same way. And so we chose... Um, 20 images from Pete's book at the time, which is called Early Sunday Morning, and they're from taken mainly from the, the 80s of Leeds, big buildings, um, pubs, all sorts. And then we got them produced with a little bit of help from Civic Trust and Leeds, uh, Pete's publisher RRB, and Creative Arthur, who you get against Adam Smith, idiot French, but. Um, that's his proper. That's his proper job. Proper job. Yeah, and we got these posters produced, and then they were slapped up. And it's one of my favourite things because it takes me back to what a poster is. Yeah. In that, it goes up on a drum. It has a has a limited lifespan. These ones had a little bit more than usual because they they survived in a very singular time. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So they breathed a little bit more. Um, sort of. Yeah, a little bit more life to them. They breathe a little bit more easily. Um, and we went out and taken photographs of where, we didn't know where they put them. They just knew that the drums they were using and we'd go and find these pictures, you know, of, of Sheepscar Junction. And I think some of them were near, nicely near where the original photograph was taken. Yeah. So you had this kind of meta thing of an old building which once stood in the place where the poster kind of was, yeah, where yeah. something else now was. Yeah. And it kind of this changing face of, of, of a city, in Leeds in this case. Um, and Pete was delighted, because Pete is a, he's become known um, for his photographs. Yeah. He's a very good photographer. But at heart, he's a graphic designer. So he runs something called the Winged Cobra Workshop from his house. And he designed all the posters for every one of his shows. Yeah. He's a really keen and good graphic designer, you know, old school graphic designer, scalpel. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't got an email, hasn't got a phone. Um, and he probably hasn't done any graphic design for a while, to be fair. But um, he loves it, and he, just, he loves posters. And he's just really lit up. He's like, I can't believe I'm having posters all over Leeds. He said, This is just like, and they're a metre and a half by a metre as well, and a hundred of them. So, um, and I think we've got some pictures which you'll put up of them in various yeah. places. Um, so yeah, it was it was mental to see really, and it's really um, gratifying to see Pete so lit up by them because they were wrinkly, pasty posters on drums. Uh, in fact, he said they're a bit. Uh, they've all gone up very cleanly, and he was a little bit disappointed. <laughs> that he went, I, I want them sort of over overlapping. Can you slap dash this a bit more, please? <laughs> yeah. Could you half ass it? He, he hadn't put that in the brief. So, but that, that, that was the only kind of. Oh, I wish they'd been. A, but over time, he got his wish. Yeah. Healing corners. Yeah. And stuff like that. Start to slump. You know, like posters should, which takes us, you know, takes us nicely back to where we started from. But um, yeah, that was that was a that was a great idea to do that with Peter um, and to have his work, which we, you know, all we did was. We um, facilitated it. Yeah. We did that herding cats thing. Yeah. You know, it was Tom and, and Pete and, and, and Creative Arthur and that who, who made it happen. And then my f- favourite posters. I've got three in the house rolled up, but I can't. I don't know a problem. <laughs> Place them on, on the front of your ass. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're massive. And we, we had we had one of each. I think we gave we gave a few away to people who'd been involved in it and stuff. Um, 
I think somebody said they've got those framed, but you know, I mean, you're gonna have to be. You get a big frame. Yeah, exactly. And also, you gotta, have a, you know, yeah. to get that frame. Yeah. It's cost a four. Big bit of glass, yeah. Now. yeah. <laughs> but they would look great frame. Yeah. 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 yeah super. But um, yeah, so my my foot. That was summer 2020. Yeah. They went up, and I don't think there's. There may be some still. The, the vestiges of these things. I I remember them going up quite clearly and I remember seeing them sitting around Hyde Park because mm. I was going for a lot of walks at that time and I really noticed yeah. the lack of posters about yeah. and yeah, the yeah. fact that like there was stuff that was still hanging on but it was getting quite knackered and it was all peeling it off was. and it was lending like you know it was giving lockdown that, that really dystopian end of days yeah, yeah. sort of feel so when they went up it did feel like my god there are people yeah. still actually doing Doing stuff. It's like it's like a dystopian. They're out there. They're putting up posters and and the lovely photos as well. Yeah. They're really really nice. Like I have to do quite a bit of photography for the posters I do because mm. I'm a shit draftsman and I need reference models to work off. But it, it's hard. Yeah. It's really really hard. Oh, I, I can't um, even imagine. Um, and. Look at those folks, they're great. Yeah, yeah. They just capture, there's a certain stillness to them, mm. isn't there? I mean, there is, there is. I mean, obviously photos, they are still, but there's yeah. something about, there's a there's a moment captured in yeah. time there. I think people have tried to re- sort of recapture, but it's almost impossible. Maybe it's the large format yeah. Heidelberg camera. <laughs> Hasselberg, Hasselberg camera. Maybe it's the film stock of the time. Hasselberg having potatoes. Having them sort of hand pulled at that time, you know, there's something about them, there's definite sort of quality, material quality to yeah. those photos. And I think they're beautiful. Those, they're kind of portraits of buildings, really. Yeah. Gives them all, it doesn't matter how tumbled down they are, it kind of captures a kind of grace in them. Um, and knowing that you're such a lovely fella, it, yeah. it just helps, doesn't it? I particularly like the ones where, like, you've got the buildings and stuff's been knocked down. Yes, yeah. to them. And they're just, just, they're just sort of standing there like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> They'll just be a massive cross member or something holding the side yeah. of it up. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Um, there's great, there's great photographs. There's one of a blind back you took, and it must have been like 1980, a back to back without the other back to it. Mm. So it's just one row of back to backs without the corresponding yeah. or blind backs. And, and he did the, the book on Quarry Hill, Memento yeah. Mori. So he, he documented that. Over a number of years, as it came down, he was a he got in and photographed it. Oh, wow. Produced a really beautiful book yeah. about it. Yeah, no, it's um, he's a he's a good sort. His house, you'd love his house. His house, his cabin is full of ephemera. He's got he's got like netting on the walls with airfix kits all in it. Yeah, he's got a proper beautiful scooter upstairs on the first floor. Just wow. <laughs> <laughs> and the cabinet's full of postcards, models, kits, yeah, stuff yeah. that he's collected. He loves stuff. Um, we all love stuff. You love stuff, you know, don't you? Well, as I've got older, yeah. I've realised I'm not, I'm not the stuff lover I thought I was. <laughs> You're not a stuff lover. Well, like... Stuff lover sounds like a great word. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you know, you know like people get like, they get very attached to books. Yeah. Like, I'm very attached to the inside of books. Like, I'm, I'm really attached to the words. Yeah, yeah. But the book itself, you don't give a monkey's about. Like, someone wants to borrow a book off me, yeah. they can borrow it, and I'm, I'm not expecting to get it back. I love my kingdom. So I love this stuff. Thanks, folks. I love this stuff inside. <laughs> you know, this is nice. Yeah. Like, this, 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 is, this is the yeah. good stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, like, you know, with music, um, I, don't, I don't care. Like, oh, I do like the smell. I Come on. Like, I do like the smell. What does is, what is a, what is a kindle smell like? Well, it depends where it's been. I mean, it's bad. So it smells, which, is, which is actually quite difficult. It smells lovely. It smells lovely, but it is quite difficult. Yeah. It's like, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, music as well, you know, I, I, I have a hard drive with like yeah. 300 gigs worth of music on, and I don't have any physical music now. And I'm, I'm fine with that. Well, my wife has loads of vinyl. Yeah, yeah. And she sounds great. Yeah, I know. I'm a real letdown, aren't I? <laughs> no, I was watching a programme last night, um, Storyville, Vinyl Nation is called. Yeah, so yeah. So I was looking at kind of the birth and creation and the uh, place where vinyl got to and its rebirth, yeah. pressing plants, sleeve making. That was interesting, printing plant. You don't think about vinyl sleeve printing. Oh, and I they do. Were in, yeah. I, I, love, I love factory videos. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Have I you love, watched this documentary? I haven't watched that, but oh, I will do. Lots of 
factory stuff in there. Well, they get the big blob of vinyl and yeah, stick yeah. it on the thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> call it a puck. A puck of vinyl. I like that. <laughs> but yeah, that was great. I've got loads of loads of records and uh, loads of books. Yeah. And I find it really hard to get rid of them. I've sold records, you know, discogs, you know, and you need a bit of money. In the past, I, I can't even talk to you about why am I only Tinder Sticks records now? I've sold them all. I go to the space they were. Oh. Just, just, just pour at them. My, my, my wife Hannah, I mean, she she had a, a really great record collection. Yeah. Like some, some really choice stuff in there that's just worth an absolute fortune now. And when we got our first cat, oh, no. about, about three days in, just did the whole lot in one go. The whole lot, like, oh. like all the spines of all yeah. of them. I mean, it's a good job. He's, he's an incredibly handsome cat. Yeah, yeah. But well, yeah. um, Becky's cat, previous cat, Tagger, um, she did that to my records, did it once, and the only two records she got were the first and second Oasis albums. Oh. She hated Britpop. <laughs> I mean, if Drew ever watches this, he'll probably just be going, Yeah, yeah, we'll oh, be punching the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely yeah. punching the air. Well, that's very, di- very discerning. Yeah, yeah, very discerning. Very discerning. Yeah. Yeah. And they're worth a fortune, I'm not mine, because they just got great <laughs> rents down the spines. Well, you did well to have a discriminate cat rather yeah, yeah. than mine, which was just like, it's a, it's a plague on all your houses. Yeah, no, no, Tiger loved shoegaze, yeah, yeah. Up, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Champ hated them all. Champ. Didn't, matter, didn't matter what it was, drum and bass, Sonic Youth originals, oh, you know. Champ. Just, as I say, it's a good job. He's Champ. handsome. Champ's still with us. He's still with us. He's an old boy now, he's 15. Still yeah. handsome, but he still knows it. That's he his didn't problem. Need to do it. I don't know. He's got a bad attitude. That cat, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> what colour is he? Tabby. Tabby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst. Yeah, the worst. Yeah. Well, there's been four posters. Four. Well, three posters and a, and a large collection of posters. Yeah. I feel you have done them justice. Thanks, man. Yeah, and it's been lovely doing this here because if you are in Leeds, do come down to Colours May Vary in the Call Exchange because there's so much stuff, so much lovely stuff here. I've got a question for you. What's that? When does it, when, you might not know when this goes out. No, probably in a couple of weeks because I'm off on holiday oh, yeah. to Scarborough. So I'll probably get it all up together after. I was just going to say, if you like posters, Ooh. right, in Shipley on the 10th ah, of June, yeah, 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 yeah. there's a Shipley Ways Goose. Yes. Um, that's over there's a lovely poster that has been made by Nick Laurie, the print project. But yeah, loads of print ephemera. There's always stuff going on like marbling, book binding, stuff like that. Kirk Gates said that shit played 10th of June. There you if go. this goes out before then, if you're watching this next year, don't go on 10th of June. Don't go to Shipley on the 10th of June. But only now. 2023. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 10th of June. Excellent. Well, Andy, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks, man. I've enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. I've got to talk about Morrissey. And you've got to talk about oh, Morrissey. Make it feel warm for a bit. <laughs> oh, oh, wait what? a second. No, oh, you've, no, we haven't, oh, we haven't done your reward. Here you go. You get, your, you get your pennant. There you go. Do you know, it's stupid, isn't it? But I'm really delighted with this. And you get your mug. There you go. Well, you have the box as well. <laughs> you can take it in. Yeah, lovely. I mean, worth it. Just for, just for the, the emission, the emission price alone, it was worth it. But, <laughs> um, yeah, really good. Thank you, man. I, I've, I've really enjoyed it. And I've, watched, I've enjoyed watching others. Oh, well, that's I will very continue. Good. I won't watch this one, of yeah. course. But, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, be, I'll be over your house doing that, that, um, that clockwork orange thing. Yeah, Pin yeah. your eyes back. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I will give you the drop so you don't like, just dry out. <laughs> oh, I don't even like that. You know, I, I do know, that to Alex. I know, I know, it is a bit much. Eyes, I can't. Actually, I've just got to stop this, but uh, the, I'll try to find a post, a, a photo of me, and I'm bending around the corner with a denim jacket on my hair. It's nothing like Morris, it's, it's, it's an attempt, right? So it's about 1989, but I'm wearing a Droogs t shirt. Oh, really? So I looked at it, I didn't, I thought about it, I thought, I've got this kind of really violent t shirt, <laughs> but, but, but a Morrissey pose. There it is, all in one nutshell. The juxtaposition, <laughs> the duality of man. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I can't find it. I still couldn't find it, but one day it will. One day it'll appear. We'll get there. Right. Well, it's been a pleasure. Goodbye, everybody. We have enjoyed it. Hopefully, you might, maybe. Anyway, yeah. come back next time. Come back for more of that. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Don't <Like and> subscribe. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I got idiot isolation. It was the best game I ever seen.
But the migrant cost of nature is fish and can hear me scream. I didn't even think it an hour in. And now I gotta throw it in the bin because alien isolation is too scary for me. Yeah.